All right, so the first mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Defabricator mod. So what this mod does is it essentially allows you to disassemble or defabricate any item that you craft at any of the different fabricators. So you can do this at this regular fabricator, the modification station, the vehicle upgrade console, etc. So any fabricator you you know have access to, all you have to do is open it up, and then you press C, and then it's, everything's going to turn red, and then you're just going to go to whatever item you want to defabricate. So let's say I have a stasis rifle that I don't want anymore. I can scrap it and we can see it says computer chip battery two magnetite and titanium which is what you need to actually make the stasis rifle so you just defabricate it's got its own little animation if you go to your settings and then go to mods and then go to this little menu right here you can also change you know what key you want to press in order to actually activate the defabricator mine is set to c because that's the default thing and it also has some controller support which is nice now from what i'm seeing right now the only item in here in this little fabricator at least that you can't defabricate is lubricant lubricant is the only item that you cannot defabricate so just keep that in mind whenever you're using this mod so yeah that was the defabricator mod and with that we can move on to the next mod that we have on this list all right so the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the dock vehicle storage access mod so what this mod does is it adds a new locker that you can build in your moon pool or just your base in general this new buildable is called the dock vehicle storage access and it's essentially a locker that whenever you put it down let me put it down right now it's going to allow you to pull so let's say i dock my seamoth or in my prawn suit and this moon pool right here i don't actually have to go up to the storage and pick everything out individually i can just go up to here and it'll automatically show everything that's in the vehicle and i can just grab all, everything from this one little locker so here i have a little seamoth right here there's two storage modules on the back and it's both filled up with a ton of titanium all right the seamoth is docked and as we can see it says extracting or well it said extracting over there so now if we open this locker, we can see that it took everything out of the CMOTH storage and just put it right in this locker. So this mod is going to save you a lot of time because it's going to save the super like tedious process of having to unload your CMOTH, prawn suit, etc. And with that, we can head on to our next mod. All right, so the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Auto Sort Lockers mod. So what this mod does is it adds four new lockers that you can build, the Auto Sort Distributor, the Auto Sort Transfer Link, the Auto Sort Receptacle, and then the Standing Auto Sort Receptacle, which is just a bigger version of this one. It's gonna automatically sort all those resources and whatnot throughout the different lockers that you have built. So if we have a Auto Sort Distributor, as we have one right here, it says ready to sort. So if we just put some stuff in there, it's gonna automatically sort. You can also disable this. You can disable it by toggling this little switch right here on the bottom right so you can toggle it on and off so i'm just going to demonstrate i'm just going to put in some titanium in these i'm also going to put some survival knives habitat builders so as we see the locker is automatically distributing the different items throughout these lockers right here and it's almost done so now if we check a few of these lockers they didn't go to this locker okay so everything went to this locker and that is because all of these lockers say any but you can change that if you hit this little gear box in the bottom right hand corner of the receptacle lockers so if i hit this I can change what I want to go to this specific locker. So if I want this locker to only have metals in it, I can just select that. All right, so as we can see, I've changed all the lockers. So this one is only gonna accept electronics. This one's only gonna accept metals, batteries, and then we have one for fish. And I have a bunch of different resources in my inventory. We are going to put the stuff to the auto sorter again, and we're gonna see how it changes. So we're just gonna put everything in here. All right, so we got the fish, the electronics, all that stuff is sorting everything out right now. All right, and it's done. So we can see that the fish locker, and we can also see that on the bottom left-hand corner, it tells you how many items are in there so we have six items in here and it's going to be six different peepers because that's what i put in the distributor and it distributed those fish into this locker then we have the one battery that i had it went into this locker and we had all the titanium went into this locker the metals locker and then all my equipment and tools went into this locker right here now the auto sword transfer link which is this big old green locker right here it'll only work it only really works with the docked vehicle storage access mod because it's supposed to you know, these are supposed to go together. All right, so I got some titanium in that in the Seamoth right here, but I have this locker off. So what I'm gonna do is turn this locker on. And what it should do is extract the, the storage out of the Seamoth. It's gonna go into this locker. And then because I have the green locker built over there, it's gonna go into that locker and I guess sort itself out from there. So let's turn this on. I'm gonna while over here. Okay, it did it too fast because all the... Okay, yeah, so all the metal went straight into... So it's gonna go into the green locker. And then if you have a locker set up, like if you have a uh, receptacle locker set up, to receive different items then it's going to go straight into those because the titanium i had in the seamoth went from the blue locker to the green locker and then it went straight into the metals locker but other than that we can move on to our next mod all right so the next mod that we have on this list is going to be called the no loud bangs in cyclops mod so 
a super simple and straightforward mod. What this mod does is whenever you're driving around in your Cyclops, whenever you run into small, like the super small minuscule stuff, so whenever you run into stuff like fish, like an oxygen bubble hits you or something super tiny, it will no longer make that super annoying and loud banging sound. I'll demonstrate right now. So this is the sound I'm talking about. That super loud sound, whenever you're like crash into like terrain and stuff, it won't make that sound anymore. Cause in the base game, it'll make that sound whenever you hit fish and stuff. And it's really freaking annoying. Let me bump into these fish right here and see what happens. I have just a little windshield sound like I'm hitting stuff in the Seamoth, which is how, it's, how it should have sounded in the base game. It allows you to drive your Cyclops around and have a nice smooth drive and peaceful drive instead of being startled every four seconds thinking that you're running into like cracks of the earth or something. So yeah, with that, we can head on to our next mod. All right, the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the bag equipment mod. So what this does is it essentially adds a new little piece of equipment that you can build in your base, not in your base, in your fabricator work. So if we go into the personal and then the equipment tab, we can see that there's three new bags that we can build. So we got the bag one adds two extra rows to your inventory, bag two adds four extra rows to your inventory, and then bag three adds six extra rows. We're just gonna get the biggest one because why not? And now that we have this bag on, it's gonna give us a ton. It's gonna give us a ton of extra storage on our actual player, so we can actually carry more things, which is extremely convenient because I feel like the base storage in Subnautica, I mean, this is kind of kind of booty cheeks base game, and you're gonna find yourself, you know, like dumping items constantly in lockers, vehicles, etc. This mod just adds a nice little level of convenience by giving you some more storage to the use of bags that you can craft. So yeah, that was the bag equipment mod. And with that, we can head on to our next mod. All right, so the next mod on this list, also extremely straightforward. We're gonna look at the moon pool vehicle repair mod. You don't have to build like any modules or anything inside your moon pool to get this active. Activate. As soon as you have the mod installed, every time you dock a vehicle that's damaged in your moon pool, it'll just automatically repair it. We're just gonna park this in here. And as soon as I get out, it's automatically gonna start repairing my Seamoth. I don't even have to do anything. I can just sit here and wait. So it was at seven HP whenever I first got in here and now it's at 14. So in this menu right here, you can change the amount that your Seamoth gets repaired per tick. You can also change the amount that it gets charged, like the battery and stuff. And you can also up the multiplier so if you want to make your game like a little more, I guess, realistic, I guess you can think. So if you want it to charge faster, you can move this multiplier up, but it's going to drain energy from your base, more energy from your base, the faster or higher you have this multiplier. But my Seamoth started at 7 HP and now it's at 24 and it's still going up. 27. So yeah, super simple and straightforward mod, but really convenient because it saves you the trouble of having to sit here with your repair tool and repair your Seamoth the entire time. You can go do other things while it just passively repairs. And with that, we can move on to our next mod. This next mod is called the Automatic Vehicle Repair Mod. And what it's gonna do, it's going to automatically add a little like repair system to all your vehicles. So your Cyclops, your Seamoth, and your Prawn Suit. So every time your vehicle starts to take damage, whenever you're in your Seamoth, Cyclops, or your Prawn Suit, it's going to, after a few seconds, because the default setting is on passer. So after a few seconds, your vehicle is going to automatically start repairing, but I changed my setting. You can change the type of repair that you want. So you can make it passive, like I was saying, or you can make it so that you toggle it and you have like a little toggle key so you can turn it on and off or you could just do upgrade and have it be something that you build. So whenever you have the automatic repair, because I have mines on toggle, all I have to do is hit R and now the repairing is online and now it's gonna start repairing my vehicle. Now, if I take damage, there's gonna be a little delay period before it starts repairing my vehicle again. So it's gonna wait a few seconds and then it's just gonna start repairing again. And I can still drive around and do other things while my vehicle is repairing on its own. Super, super convenient. So when you have this mod with the Cyclops, your vehicle will not start, your vehicle will not start repairing like while you're driving or anything. You actually have to get out of the pilot seat in order for your vehicle to start repairing. So as soon as you, are you serious? There's radiation over here? We're gonna activate the automatic repairing, but as we can see, it does not work right now because I am driving around. So we get out of the Cyclops, now it says repair drone engage. All right, there it is. So we can see that there's a little repair drone out here. It has its own little animation. And it's just gonna go over each of the little breaches on the Cyclops and it's going to repair them all individually. Why is it flying away? And it'll start doing this from the moment you get out of the pilot seat. So you can actually be outside your vehicle as you see I am right now, or you can just stay inside your Cyclops and it'll just automatically pop out and start repairing the different areas. And with that, we can move on to our next mod on this list. All right, so the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the resource monitor mod. So what this mod does is it adds two new buildables to the interior of your base. So we have the resource monitor small, and then we have the resource monitor large. They both do the exact same thing. Once you have it built in your base, it's gonna monitor the amount of resources 
that you have in your base by showing you every little thing that you have in your base. As long as you have your items stored like in a locker or something of that nature, it'll pop up on this little resource monitor and you can see what you have as well as how many. So we can see I have 10 titanium, 10 lithium, nine titanium, I have four knives, three habitat builders, four scanners, etc. And you can also pick up the resources from the resource monitor, which is why this mod is so convenient. So if I just look at the lithium and I click on it, I can just pick up all the lithium and now it's in my inventory. It saves you like a thousand hours of time. It saves you the time of having to go through every single one of your lockers and look for certain items and stuff because you can just see all the items on this little resource monitor so you'll know what's in your base, how much of what resource you have, what you don't have, what you need to be looking for when you go out. And if you need to get something specifically and you don't feel like grabbing from your locker, you can just look at this resource monitor and you can just grab. That was the resource monitor mod. And with that, we can head on to our next mod on this list. All right, the next mod we have on today's list is going to be the swim charge inventory mod. So what this mod does is it makes the swim charge fans a lot better by allowing you to actually charge stuff that's in your inventory or batteries that are in your inventory just sitting around instead of only being able to charge items that are in your hand. So my sea glide is currently at 9% right now. And now that I have these swim charge fans on, I'm just gonna swim around for a little bit. Actually, I can swim around while the PDA is open. We just swim around and we can see the bar is slowly, slowly going up. Now it's at 10, 11. So we can see that it does charge you know stuff that's in your inventory now you do need to keep in mind that if you're holding something in your hand that isn't charged and you're trying because it's not going to charge multiple things at once it's sort of like a priority thing so if there's something in your hand that's not charged and you're trying to charge something in your inventory it's got to charge the thing in your hand first you can also make it charge loose batteries like this one right here so i have a battery just sitting right here and it's you know not attached to anything and it's not fully charged you do have to toggle that setting on though in the mod settings menu so just keep that in mind but because i have that setting on i'm just going to swim around and the percentage of the battery is still being charged and going up so yeah that was the swim charge inventory mod and with that we can head on to our last mod on this list all right so the last mod on today's list is going to be the grapple item pickup mod so what this mod does is it essentially allows you to pick up items using your grappling arm instead of you having to use like the regular claw arm for your prawn suit so you can actually have your drill arm on and your grappling arm on at the same time and still be able to pick stuff up which is you know whole new level of convenience because super annoying in the base game when you had to either get out of your prawn suit constantly to pick up items you don't like trade off the drill arm for like a claw arm or something just to pick up stuff now you can have any of the arms on that you want and still be able to pick up small items and i got the bladder fish so all you have to do to grab things is just you just have to make sure you hook onto it you can't like walk up to it and like press the button you have to just sort of like grapple onto it like that and it'll automatically pick up the item that you grapple onto you but other than that that is about all i have for y'all thank y'all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see y'all in the next one Peace.